Hey guys, Taco Bell Craig again with uh, Tales of Fantasia. When we last left off, we were stuck behind these double doors that just crushed two golems into dust, and we're ready to press on. Let's do it. Time to get vengeance for our families, guys. Let's do it! Malice, your time is up. You've done nothing but come all this way only to die now! What a pity! I told you not to follow me. You deliberately disobeyed me. Samwise Gamji. Now watch as the seal is dissolved! Uh, oh no, 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 not this guy. No. What the hell is going on here? Now our king will return! What are you talking about? Listen to me now. After the Valhalla War, 100 years ago, a great king attempted to take over another country. His name was Deos. But he was somehow defeated by a group of warriors. Class, your father had, turn, had a hand in the defeat of the same king, Deos, a decade ago. Tornix, what the hell are you talking about? Malice is trying to reawaken Deos. You and Mint are the children of those who sealed Deos here in the first place. Your father Miguel, your mother Maria, along with Mint's mother Meryl, and I. So those are the guys from the opening of the game, remember? We were the four warriors who sealed Deos here when you were but a but small children. So you actually had kids and then decided to go off on this adventure? Yeah. Not the normal story where you have kids after. Me? Me? And me? Yes, somehow Deos is using Malice to unseal himself. What a happy little reunion, now that it matters. Or not that it matters. I'm sorry, Tornix, Chester, Mint, and I. We have a score to settle with Malice. Let's do it. It's on. We've got to avenge our families! Oh. Doesn't look like such a bad guy, right? He's got cool hair, awesome sprite. Welcome, Deos. Now show us the meaning of power. I am Malice. Grant my wish. Destroy these infidels. You foolish man. Don't you know I've only been using you? What do you mean? You serve me now. I released you. All who oppose me will die. Let me refresh your memory. You came to this shrine three months ago, and I enticed you into finding the pendants for my release. Your weak mind is your undoing. I hope hell has something special in store for you, you weak-minded buffoon. What? Impossible! Look out! Kamehameha! Yeah, he definitely Kamehameha'd right there. But why? You served your purpose, but now you have outlived your usefulness. This can't be! Double Kamehameha, you just got owned. You humans always do whatever you want. 
out. You have no concept of the big picture. You're inhuman. And you are damned eternally in my sight. Your sword will be ineffective against him. I will send you to a place where you can gain the power you need to defeat him. You are last hope. What, what are you talking about? Take this book with you and remember your parents. Your time is up, old man. I've got to act fast. What? Chester! Chester, no! <laughs> Chester, wake up. Where did you send them, old man? Ha! Huh, you think I'm going to tell you? I know they fell through time. I'll find out when and where they are. And when I do, they're finished! Deus, you... <laughs> this will be your final resting place. We'll see how you enjoy years of darkness here. Makes sense. We're here. Chester! Oh, my head. Well, get Mint up. Mint, I need some healing. Wake your butt up. Oh, Kles. Where are we? I don't know. Wow, that's really kind of pretty. Also, kind of looks like another cliff from another game that I've all made reference to because the overworld looks similar. Post it in the comments if you know what I'm talking about. Glass Jester Tornix. We have to find Mr. Morrison. We can't just stay here forever, Glass. Let's go. It's just that all this is my fault. No, it's not. Light bulb! If it hadn't been for me, my pendant, none of this would have ever happened. What's that book? Tornix handed it to me. The Journal of Torix D. Morrison. Long ago, Deos fought with four warriors, but he escaped the, through a time portal to our time. Miguel and Maria Alvin, Meryl and De and Meryl and Adnade, and myself, Tornix D. Morrison, sealed Deos in a sarcophagus with an incantation. The seal could only be dissolved by the two pendants used in the ritual incantation to create the barrier. Sir Miguel took one of them, and Lady Meryl took the other. We vowed never to meet again or discuss what transpired that day for fear that someone may release the monster called Deos. Our parents were... heroes? We've got to find a way to stop Deos, but first let's find someone who can tell us where we are. Good idea. Thanks. It's Chester's bow. Chester, forgive me. Class, I'm sure he's fine. Ye did you see what just happened? Nuclear warhead went off. Deus was like, Super Nuke! Alright, let's see what's up. Where are we? What is going on? What? What? 
Let's see who's who's in this who's in this thatched. What's up, old man? I've got to get dinner ready. Where are you from? Give me the give me the knife. I'm gonna. Um. Uh, oh wait. I, I kind of wanna. It seems to me that this pot is really out of place. Eh, I was wrong. Alright, so there's nothing in this house for us. Not a thing. Look everyone, outsiders! Who are they? They're just kids! This looks like... just like home. Excuse me, where are we? Wow, strangers, where did you come from? Well, um... er... I'm Kles, I'm from Totus, and this is my companion, Mint. We awoke just south of here, but we don't know how we got here. Totus? Never heard of it. Anyone ever heard of a Totus? Well? Don't want to look stupid now. Better come up with something. No one seems to know anything about this totus of yours, but for some reason I don't think you're lying to me. It is possible you were sent here by magic? What's magic? This may take a while to sort out. Please come in and we will talk. Follow me. I don't want to go with this guy. He's got a creepy voice. Sounds suspicious to me. Let's check it out. Oh, what are we, about to get lynched? My name is Lenoise. I'm the village elder. It's nice to meet you. Lenoise, I know that name from somewhere. I can't believe you've never heard of magic. I can't believe that you don't know mana. It's the power of healing. Healing? Wow, I feel ten years younger, but I don't have a clue how you did that. So, alright, hold the phone, hold the phone. So, age is simply a lack of HP? Alright guys, we figured that out, so get get some healing, get some herbs, get some potions, get whatever you're using in your RPGs, and become immortal! So, magic is like this. Fireball! Whoa, look at that face! That face was ridiculous. Whoa! whoa. Blossom! I bet magic is the key to defeating Deos. No, giant sword is the everything. Defeat Deos? Not likely. You know who Deos is? Of course, Deos is the most inhuman fiend in the world. Every day his armies conquer more and more of the world. But Deos was just released. What are you talking about? Deus has been in power here for over a decade! We must be in a different time period. I really hope this voice just doesn't botch my recording, because it is pretty annoying. Is this our future? No. Light bulb! Look at where we are, the houses. This has to be our past. Future? Past? What in the world are you talking about? This is the year 4202! 
A hundred years in the past? A hundred years in the past? I think I'm going to faint. Elder, look at what you did! Super sweat brows. <laughs> I do like the emoticons, because it's just perfect. <gasps> Kitty! This is amazing. I can't believe it. Visitors from the from our future. There's no other explanation. I know it's too much to ask for you to believe us, but please tell me more about Deos and magic. Yes, of course. Deos can only be hurt by magic. That's why Alvanista and the Midgard are researching it. The problem is that you can't use magic. Really? Why not? Humans can't use magic. Only those with the blood of elves can. Elves? Well, pure-blooded elves are half-breeds. That's the only way? Don't worry, I'm sure you can find someone who is willing to help you in the fight against Deos. Is there anyone you can think of? So you're really thinking about going after Deos? Of course, maybe that's why we were sent here. Perhaps, but... Please, we have to do something for Tornix and Chester's sake. In Euclid, north of here, a man by the name of Clarth F. Lester has devoted his life to studying magic. He's a stubborn fool and may seem standoffish, though. Thanks for all of your help. It really was my pleasure. You look tired. I'd be honored if you'd stay the night here. Thank you for your kindness. As long as you don't burn us to the ground. I'm about ready to hit the sack. Yeah, me too. Whoa. Class, um... What is it? There's two of us and, um, only one bed? Uh-oh. <laughs> what? Uh, <laughs> um, yeah. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, jeez, um, uh, er, uh, I wasn't trying, uh, of course not, I'll, I'll just sleep here on the floor. Welcome to back pain, population you, it's going to hurt now, and going to make you blue, but you've got a white maid, she'll heal you up just fine. Now go ahead and say good night. One hundred years. Is there even a way back home? Maybe if we are able to defeat Deos here, then history will be changed, so Tests, Chester, and Tornix will be saved. Kles, are you still awake? Yes. Tomorrow is another day. Yeah. You gotta stay positive. That is the meaning of that sentiment. Good night, class. I'm already out. I'm unconscious. Look at how sweet Mint is, though. She's so nice. She checks on us. And, even better yet, gives us a blanket. How sweet. I mean, really nice. And that's the end music for the game. Well, guys, I think this has been a long enough video already. So thanks for watching. If you like it, subscribe, comment, do whatever. Um, but I'm out of here. So most importantly, just keep being awesome. Peace.